Yeah, so how long were you inside? I thought I heard somebody, but it was just the AC kicking in. How long were you inside? Five minutes. I mean, just enough to load the clothes, go put $20 in there. Were the kids asleep? Was up. She was playing that Tom Tom or whatever. But Aaron was asleep? Yeah. And this is at Toledo? That's at Toledo and uh, Powers. Toledo and Powers. Yeah. And you were there. What were you wearing there? Um, had you changed? I, mean, I had to be wearing this. Yeah. Okay. So you get there. You wash some clothes. And then where do you go? I went back to the house. Just you was there like five minutes, so you said right. About five minutes. Just put load I in, put load in, detergent. I went to um, I went to go get the money, the change. I didn't have nothing small. I had like three bills, three dollar bills, and obviously that wasn't enough. It's like a seven, eight dollar washer, so I had to put in a twenty, and that's why I had all those quarters. And grabbed a handful of them, went, started the washer. I went to the bathroom. As I was going to the bathroom, I grabbed the rest of the quarters. Use the bathroom and then uh, jump back in the car and head to the house. All right, so then you get home. You don't make any stops. Mm-hmm. And when you get home, what happens? And that's when everything went down. That's when. Why'd you go home? Why didn't you just go to pick her up? I was not. I told you that. Did I you go to do a bump? I was going to get something, yeah. What I was going to do that, yeah, I was going to get it. Okay. Period. So you go there to get the coat. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. And at that point, you get out of the car. Hello. Leave it running. Yes. Part with the front end facing the apartment. Yes, sir. You go and unlock the door. Yeah. All right. Or not. Yeah. And then take it from there. All right. Ran upstairs. Unlock my door. Uh, yeah, no sweat. That time she was coming. Right, Lily was I'll coming be up in. there. Yeah, I'm here. I'll be up there in a little bit. Upstairs. All right, thanks. Unlock the bedroom door. Yeah. Is coming. that when you noticed Lily was behind you? She was coming in. Yep. Said, uh, you know, I asked her why she got out of the car. You know, she said she was scared. Understandable. And I um, threw on the movie for her. So you you put the movie in. No, it's, it's already on there. It's hard. Oh, that's right. You said you had to switch it over to the hard drive. Then you said you're walking by and you tap on your roommate's door mm-hmm. as you're going downstairs. Mm-hmm. And then you tell me that you heard the car leaving. As it I wasn't was going squealing out, or anything. No, it wasn't squealing. I mean, the only thing might have been was that belt from getting wet mm-hmm. going in and out those puddles. Mm-hmm. But I heard that and it was just. It wasn't no screeching of tires or anything like that. Okay, so it drives off. Mm-hmm. You chase it on foot. Somewhat, yeah. Uh, I mean, as yeah, much as you yeah. can chase a car, right? Because I believe you told me you ran all the way down to, and he looked right and left, but you didn't see it. Oh, I, no, I seen it go left. Well, you saw it turn yeah. left. But once I got it, probably but you, nowhere inside. Right, so you made it all the way, you looked left and right and didn't see it. Yeah. And then did you run home, walk home? I kind of trotted. I was already out of breath. I'm sorry. So you trotted back. I went to calling. Did you immediately call the police? I went to grab that, calling them, and that's when I only had like 2% on that phone. Mm-hmm. On the white I, one? I, uh, yeah. The big one. And I got a hold of them for a split second, and um, it cut off. You know. Did you even say anything at all? Yeah. What did you say? I said uh, my car has been st- or trying to report a... Um, I said something like that, my car, trying to report something with that car being stolen. It was a split second and it cut off. Okay, and then you grabbed the other phone? I went, it got inside, plugged one up, and I was looking around the room where that other one was. It was on my, dre- or it was on my desk. I look around, then I finally seen it on that um, gray dresser. So how long in between phone calls would you say it was? Three minutes, maybe. Max or minimum? Max. Okay. So then you call the police, and what do you tell them? Call them and told them the orange car, told them it was Honda Civic, told them my son was in the car, mm-hmm. and they just.
just asked me a bunch of questions. At the same time, I'm trying to text her, telling her to get a ride. Um, she called, asked me what's up. I said, just get a ride. I didn't want to run. And when she called, she said, well, what's Brittany's number? I'm still on the phone with the operator, and I just remember looking through it, trying to find it, found it, and uh, told her what it was. Where do you fish? I have no idea. What's your educated guess? Take an educated guess. This whole night, <laughs> what I've done is nothing educated about it. <laughs> well, I understand this, that, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. What's your gut feeling tell you? At first, it was, it was kind of <laughs> hoping that the dad took him. But you don't believe that now? No. Not at all. You think he's all right? Uh, I will. with the uh, blanket or whatever in the uh, in your closet in the hamper it's a wet blanket in there a wet blanket like a sheet or something I think he the one that's in there is like black and white yeah I like he threw up on that when did he do that so it was like freshly wet it's probably a couple of days before and we pulled it out there and I uh, we used the red blanket. Me and her used that one. So it's not. It was a. Uh, it was a black uh, blanket that he had threw up on too. Yeah. yeah. And it's still wet. It's just been in that thing. We just put it in that hamper. Why didn't you take that to the laundry room? The laundry mat. I, honestly, I forgot everything that was in there. I grabbed everything that was in the black basket and certain things that was just loose on the floor. Now, I gotta ask you this, just because we ask everybody this when we're dealing with these. <laughs> Was there any type of accident or did anything happen inside the apartment that you need to tell us about now that no. we may find out about later? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so there's no accidents. The only thing that he's been having was that thresh and uh What's the what? Thresh. It's about the the white stuff in his mouth. Yeah. He we kinda gave him the medicine for that. It cleared up. But he didn't hurt himself, there was no accident in the bathtub, there was no accident. In the bathroom, there's been good. no incidents. He spit up a couple times. I mean, you could see that. It was, uh, I think, two days ago. I think it was Wednesday when I was driving. I think I had gave him some McDonald's. Uh, He's been I'll sick, though, right? He said he was sick last well, night. Well, that was he was fussy. fussy. He was fussy. Right, didn't eat. He didn't eat. That was around 8, I think, when we tried to feed him. But um, uh, was a little two bit days ago. Uh, yeah, probably. It was about four. Well, you, you dropped her off about like 15, it was about 8, 30. 7 30. 7 30. So, but a couple of days before that, same thing. Uh, we were riding the car, had McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I think I gave him some of my burger, some fries. You know, I turned around. He was asleep. But I could see he was drooling with stuff still in his mouth. So I pulled over in the middle. Open. I was almost to the house. I pulled over. I had my friend Josh with me. And, um, uh, he got the stuff out of his mouth mm. and honestly just threw it out on the street. Let me ask you this. If I recover any video out there at your apartment complex, mm. obviously I'm going to see the car leaving, mm. right? And I'll see you at some point mm. running or walking after it. Were you running? I was, I was running up to, honestly, about the right after the mailbox. Are you talking about the mailbox is right by your apartment? A little bit further. Okay. So did you walk the rest of the way? To no, Old I kind of like stopped a little bit and kind of like trod it, slowed down a little bit and then ran. Yeah. Regardless, I'm going to see you going up to Old Kings yeah. and then coming back, right? Yeah. And you'll be coming back right after, I'm assuming within 30 seconds to a minute of you. Let's do it like this. Here's your, the road going out. Mm -hmm. This is Old Kings. Say the car comes out and turns, you said it turned that way. Yeah. I'm gonna see you at some point come up. I would guess within 30 seconds to a minute, turn around and go back to go call, call. the police. On the way back was calling. Oh, you were on the I phone was, on the way back? I was trying. That's when it was dying? I was dying, it was a little bit out of breath. Okay. Yeah.
do you know if there's any video out there? Any video of what? At the apartment complex. I have no idea. Maybe right around there by the uh, office. Maybe. But Did you see any honestly, other cars out there at that time? Uh, Coming or going? Uh, I just seen, I think when we were standing there after everything, it was... Um, you mean after you called the police and the police arrived? Yeah, that's the only thing. I'm talking about before something. the police arrived. No. When you were chasing after the car, did you see any other vehicles? I didn't see anything else. So how soon after that car, after your car leaves, how soon would you say it was that you called the police? After my car left? Mm -hmm. Once I got there, I looked, didn't see nothing. I pretty much got on there and tried to call. Okay, but that's when it went dead, right? It went dead. So how long would you say it was before you actually spoke to him on the other phone? Like I said, no more than three minutes. Three minutes, five max? No more, I don't think more than three. Okay. Um, you got anything else? We're not done, we still got a lot going. If you still want to be cooperative, we would still love your help. Um, I'm just, my phone's burning up. I got to go out and touch base with these other guys and see what they've learned. She's here. She's she's in the Let's other room. Go with the laundromat. Okay. You're at the laundromat. You said I, I want to make sure I got the notes right. Go to the laundromat. Kids are in the car. What time was that? I'm sorry. Thirty, forty-five, somewhere around there. 130, 145, okay. All right. So you did um, get your clothes, you get the laundry out. Um, you go make change, or did you put the laundry in and then make change? I think I was starting to put the laundry in. Notice you. Um, uh, it might have been half of it in. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I might have put it all in. I'm not sure. But then I went, got changed. I honestly think I put it all in. Did you bring in a basket or did you? I had the, the huge basket, the black basket that's in the trunk. Okay. So you brought that basket in. Mm -hmm. All right. And that, is that basket, was it empty when you came back to the apartment? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so when you're at the laundromat, you make change, you, you put the detergent in because you'd already have to go back and go get the detergent. Mm -hmm. um, you Before you leave, you go and use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You said you go one or two or how long were you in the bathroom for? Oh, I was in there 45 seconds. Okay. Did you do anything else at the laundromat in or around that laundromat? I went back to the house. Okay. Right after the laundromat, I went back to the house. Talked to anybody on the phone? I had um, Lu Lupita was the one that was texting me on the messenger. Who's Lupita? Is she She's something on the side or? Mm -hmm. No, nothing on the side. She's just a friend. She asked what was going on. So that's, that'll be on your phone? It's on their messenger. So we'll know what. We should be able to get a time frame of when you were at the laundromat? Because you were texting her at the laundromat? It's no, on messenger, right? Left. Yeah, I left. And um, I probably text her probably right when I was pulling in the neighborhood. Okay, so after you left the laundromat, yeah. you were texting she asked me what I was doing. Yes, like I said, laundry. And she said a couple other messages, but by the time I... That's I just a messenger it, app, though? Yeah. Or is it Facebook Messenger it's, or Yahoo it's Messenger? Facebook Messenger, but yeah, okay. it's, it's, the mess, it's its own app. Right. On, it's got its own... Under the Facebook. Okay. And you said no one else was there? Where? At the laundry mat? No. All right. And did you leave anything behind? The clothes. Besides the clothes, you throw anything away? Nothing? I just went in there to that bathroom, pissed, and... Uh, Took off. Any possibility that I could talk real quick? Um, we'll, we'll let you talk to her in a little bit. I need to go talk to her for a minute. I need to go clear this stuff up, find out what they want, and then we'll be right back with you. She's pretty upset that you wouldn't want to talk to us anymore. But we're going to tell her. We'll tell her it's all good. We'll, we'll make it right. I tried to tell her. Okay. I just...
Sit tight.
doing his radio thing for 25 years. That's right. And he's celebrating his anniversary at Pure alongside Fetty Wap, and it's going to be a party. So go get your party on this weekend. It's going down tomorrow at Pure once again. This is the Mighty Beast to to be jams. It's time to win your tickets. to see how it handles pretty much anything life throws at it. First up, the splash test. Not a problem. Next, the drop station. Ketchup and mustard, a classic. And it's A-OK. -okay. Now the mud simulator. And it's ringing. <laughs> One second. Hello? Can I call you? I'm going to call you back. Looks like the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active handled it all without a problem. I just wish I had rinsed it off first. Look. Switch now to AT&T and earn $300 in credits when you buy a Samsung Galaxy phone on AT&T Next and trade your current smartphone. AT&T, mobilizing your world. The device needs military standards for dust and shock resistance. Drops or falls less than 4 feet on flat surface and IP60 rating for water resistance up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. Rinse residue promptly. Limited time offers select locations. Must port number activate service and remain in good standing. $300 equals $100 bill credit applied within 90 days and $200 phone trading credit which may be via promotion card. Trading must be in good working condition or the charges are restricted to the price. Please for details. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is a chemical element with the symbol N and has an atomic number of seven. It also is the most abundant uncombined element in the Earth's atmosphere. Wow, that is a lot of useless info about nitrogen. How about some useful information about nitrogen? Did you know that when you substitute nitrogen for air in your tires, you'll get better MPG, longer tire life, and longer rim life? That's why commercial airlines, NASCAR, NASA, and the U.S. military all use nitrogen in their tires. Rental Wheel wants to give you free nitrogen fills for a full year on any new account when you purchase the nitrogen program. But you need to act fast. This deal won't last long. And while you're there, be sure to check out the huge selection of yellow tagged specials where you can save up to 10% off new wheels and tires, and up to 40% off previously enjoyed wheels and tires. For the Rental Wheel near you, visit rentawheel.com or call 888-505-TIRE. Rental Wheel. Your wheels. Your way. And always remember, nitrogen, atomic number seven, if you're ever on Jeopardy. It's the mattress sale that's the perfect size for any budget. It's Mattress Firm's Any Size One Price Sale. For a limited time, get your choice of twin, full, queen, or king size mattress for one low price. Any size firm mattress starts at just $99.99 each piece when you buy the set. King set is three pieces. Plus, sleep happy with interest free financing. Only at Mattress Firm. Shop in store or online at mattressfirm.com. For offer and financing details, visit mattressfirm.com slash circulars. This summer, double up on delicious. Because right now, the new extra long pulled pork sandwich at Burger King is just two for five dollars. So now you get two times the savory pulled pork and sweet barbecue sauce, twice as many tasty pickles, double the fresh white onions. It's the perfect addition to our two for five dollar deal, along with the original chicken sandwich, big king sandwich, and big fish sandwich. So you can mix and match two large sandwiches for just five dollars. Taste the new extra long pulled pork sandwich this summer before they're gone. Only at Burger King. Limited time only price participation very precious higher Alaska and Hawaii. Ram ties got my ride looking nice. Ride today on 26 inch wheel and tire sets as low as $85 a week. Or 22s as low as $45 a week. Rim time has the best cash prices around too. And they'll give you 120 days same as cash. They'll be anybody's price. Located at the intersection of 295 and Atlantic Boulevard across from Denny's. Visit RimTime.com or call 904-998-9801. That's 904-998-9801. And Ram Ties got my ride looking nice. The best things in life are free. Free speech, free Wi-Fi, free samples. Oh, pizza bites. Nature is free, love is free, family is free. Well, to a point. Dad, can I get a car? But in general, free is good. Hugs, kisses, smiles, beaches, all free. That's why BBVA Compass believes in free checking. No monthly service charge, no balance minimums after $25 opening deposit. Just open up a BBVA Compass Clear Choice free checking account and enjoy the beauty of free. BBVA Compass, banking on a brighter future. Are you being denied credit? Are you paying high interest rates? At creditrepair.com, we know life happens. Divorce, medical bills, student loans, and many other reasons why credit scores fall. That's why at creditrepair.com, we're committed to helping folks get the second chance they deserve to improve their credit. Creditrepair.com is actually acting as an advocate for me. Things that I thought when you paid them off, 
they were still on there. Things that I didn't even know were on, they were on there. But they got them removed. I feel they're doing what they said they do and beyond. I'm not going to abuse this second chance that they gave me. I'm in the process now of buying a home. CreditRepair.com actually does work. We can help you get a second chance at great credit. The consultation is free and includes a free credit score and summary credit report. We'll review your current credit situation right on the phone with a game plan to restore it. Call 800-583-9266. That's 800-583-9266. Again, 800-583-9266. 800-583-9266.
we were rolling 10 joints in a row all day. Uh, uh,
just one second. See you. 